What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor, SafeNBAMT.com. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout and stop getting scammed by NBA 2K's pack odds. Hit them up right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we are going over top snipe filters in this game, NBA 2K21 My Team. And yes, um, we're pretty much just going to get right into it, man. There's so many snipe filters right now. Like, there's so many snipe filters. Yes, I'm not going to lie. I've actually missed a couple Opal snipes over the last couple days. So it's been rough. But we're gonna we have other um, other filters to help you out make some MT and if you guys are new to the channel Let's hit 50 likes on this video if we get 50 likes on this video We will do a nice MT giveaway on Twitter and our Instagram and if you are selling MT Make sure to hit me up on Instagram and our Twitter and uh, yeah, let's just get right into this video um, Pretty much I've been noticing one thing Pink diamond bit snipe filter is definitely something you want to pay attention to um bit sniping with the <clears throat> pink diamonds i'm so tired guys i'm literally up pulling an all-nighter right now it's like 7 a.m and i'm making this video um but yo christos Przingis or any pink diamond my voice is like destroyed um as you guys know i've been pretty sick but um look at this so let's try to snipe out that pink diamond Przingis. um this one's at 41k so we get him for 45 with a shoe we could probably sell him for like 55 with a shoe mid-range close shot possibly but definitely make sure to pay attention to bit snipes always something over there with the bit snipes you just have to pay attention to another car i want to pay attention to is clay thompson but but let's go over the galaxy oval snipe filter first obviously the galaxy oval snipe filter um it goes on and off sometimes there's no cards sometimes there is cards in the auction galaxy oval snipe filter probably one of the best snipe filters in the game not gonna lie uh it just depends on it literally just all timing it depends how quick you are with the filter as well dark matter obviously up there as well the pack odds have been terrible um have you guys gotten any good pack luck at all like honestly with mtvc i've dropped 150 bucks in the last two weeks and haven't got anything um so the vc has been really bad i think the pack odds are really really dimmed down and honestly wasn't a fan of this week's drop like d rose all point guards you know i feel like we're lacking some small forwards in the game not gonna lie but um, Pippin's okay. Hedo's okay. Um, but this Przingis, I'm thinking about buying it. I think his price does go up. It's just a matter of what they drop. You know what I'm saying? So, Przingis at 49k. You get that one for like 40, and then he honestly goes up. So honestly, I'm gonna bid on this one. I'm gonna get this for around 44k, I think. So if I sell him for 50, I'm gonna make 1k. Me personally. I think I can sell for 59. So this is what you do: bid sniping, pink diamonds. You just gotta know the prices. You gotta check them quick. If I do get this card, I'm gonna make a pretty decent amount. Another player I would like to pay attention to is Mr. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Man, definitely interesting snipe filter. Man, he goes up, he goes down. I say you get him for 70k and sell for 100. Honestly, uh, we actually got outbidded on that Przingis. That's crazy. Another time you want a bit snipe is when the market is absolutely flooded. If you want, you can do this with diamonds. As you can see, there's a ton of Russell Westbrooks right here. So we're actually gonna go over to the Westbrook. We're gonna see the cheapest. See if there's any good bids out there. So cheapest Westbrook is around probably four-ish k. So you want to go to the snipe filter, check it out, check out the bid. So he's like forty something hundred. Just go diamond. Just go fresh. Uh, thirty-two hundred. That's a really good one right there. We got bidded. Oh my god wow wow so sometimes as you can see it's super competitive but that's the same thing with any other snipe filter man even amethyst even amethyst is interesting this levine for 3k i think you can make some profit off i'm actually gonna bid on that if we win that that's 3100 mt i think i sold one for 4200 earlier so honestly i'm working out the bit snipes right now not even really top snipe filter we just got that one for 3200 oh my goodness so his price keeps dropping are you serious right now okay 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 he's at around 3450 okay i got it for 3100 okay all right nothing crazy i'm literally gonna make 100 mt sometimes sometimes it doesn't always work out but sometimes it does be honest with you guys i think the best night filters right now is probably pink diamond galaxy opal pink diamond and galaxy opal pink diamond cheapest 
Galaxy Opal minimum buyout. Sometimes the Amethyst end doesn't really work out that much because it's just so cheap. Most likely, I'm sticking with Pink Diamond and Galaxy Opal for now. Sometimes you could bit snipe the diamonds. Sometimes you could uh, bit snipe pink diamonds. But honestly, it all depends. It just all depends how lucky you are, man. Sometimes snipes are harder than the others. But guys, if you want to make a lot of MC, you got to be patient. Like, I don't know. Right now, the market is dry on Sundays. Sunday is just not a good day to snipe in general. I usually, I think the best time to snipes is definitely where super packs are out. Honestly, I'm going to give you a perfect example. So this week, Malik Sealy, bro. He was going for around, I would say, 18-ish K. He's going for around 26K. Now, what happens is this card is clearly rising. There's not a lot up here. Some are getting posted interestingly, but this card is 18,000 MC, guys. If you guys remember, he was 40K a couple weeks ago. He was 18K. When flash super packs, now they're dropping super packs every week. What you want to pay attention to is the drop in pink diamonds and diamonds. That's what you want to invest tuesdays and wednesdays whenever they drop the super packs these cards always go literally half price they go half price you buy them but you want to buy cards that make sense you don't want to buy amethyst because amethysts are hard sometimes they go up if it's a very hype amethyst i don't know like steph curry or something then it's different but honestly realistically you have to pay attention to what people like bro the hype cards if there's a zion williamson diamond that's in the packs right he's obviously gonna go down because he's in packs and then since it's zion he's gonna rise up like crazy so for me personally sniping obviously is always gonna be down sundays you want to snipe the most on content days that's how you're gonna make the most mt it's just content days content days content days and if you guys remember when i told you to pick up that zion i think literally yesterday and or friday he's now over 42k maybe even more He's at 46K, almost 49K. So like I said, if you did listen to my Zion investment, it did work out. All the investments that I was looking at worked out. Uh, me personally, I'm still trying to snipe out my first Dark Matter. Obviously, my first Opal too. I've I've missed so many Opals. I think one of the only Opals I sniped was Magic Johnson. I made like 40K profit. I think the Opal filter is super competitive. If you want to make MT, you literally just have to buy players on Market Crash days, bro. That is the best way to make MT. And um, yeah, pretty much that's all we got for the video. I want to pop a pack to end it off, so we're going to do so. Uh, we usually never get anything in our packs. Let's see what we got. First pack of the day, and yeah. These are what the packs are looking like, man. I don't know what it is, but there's literally never glow. So I guess that's how we're going to end it off, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Stay tuned for more. Have a good one. Peace.